Alright, welcome back to the channel and today we will be taking a look at some Karens and some interesting moments and some wholesome moments as well. But before we get started, just make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. So in this first video, it takes place at Miami International Airport and this lady is demanding a wheelchair with the worst attitude I've seen in a while and with the type of content I show you guys that's saying a lot. So she says she had chronic asthma so that's why she needs a wheelchair and that she is in a rush and about to miss a flight but this is why they tell you to get to the airport two to three hours before your flight. But let's take Take a look and let me know what you think. Hello? I need a manager of you. I'm handicapped. I need a wheelchair. I'm chronic asthmatic. I cannot walk. I have a rod in my leg. And the last woman that had a wheelchair gave me a problem. I don't want her touching me. Mm -hmm. Could you call a wheelchair? I gotta go. I'm gonna miss my flight at 8 o'clock. Let me see the boring question. Listen, I have an 8 o'clock flight and I need, I need a, they supposed to already have a wheelchair here for me. They knew I had a wheelchair when I came over. What? This is the New York to Miami. Well, just look up my name on that, okay? You don't have to look at the past. Just look and push it in. Push the number in. That's the same the ticket. It's the same thing. I have a round trip ticket. I have to go. You're holding me up now. You should have had a wheelchair waiting for me. You know I'm, wheel, I'm handicapped. I made a mention of it. Now you're going to hold me up and they're going to give me some shit like last time. I should not be walking all around this. I should not be walking all around this hotel. I told you I'm handicapped. Why am I walking? I will get a manager. Hmm. Yeah. I need a wheelchair. That's yeah. all I need, uh, yeah. and a pusher. Yeah. Oh, wait, right the f here. I need a wheelchair. You need to call a gate and let them know I'm here. And let them know not to leave. Last time I was here, I had a problem. Not here, but coming in here, I had a problem. I missed two flights because of the way they did the ticket. I want the ticket for 8 o'clock to be registered in the system so I can get my flight right now. And I need somebody to come with me right now to push me through all that security. Because when I get through there, I'll probably have to go and get naked and whatever they have to do after I get through the gate. And I'm still going to be held up. So I need to get to my gate right now so I can leave. As soon as possible. I need your photo ID. I'm not trying to be a headache. I just don't want to stay here for two hours, an hour, or any other time. I don't need to be. I don't live here. I want to go home now. I the day is done, and I'm ready to go. And I'm going to get the hell away from Florida. My ID is back in the bags. I wasn't supposed to walk over here. So you do what you can do. I don't have it. Negative eyes. Negative eyes. And that woman, whoever she was with that wheelchair, she came all the way over there and asked me, looking at me and asked me, can I walk? Of course I can walk. How the hell did I get through the door? Don't want no one carry me in. And then she's going to walk off. I don't want her touching me because I would have had a problem with her. And whoever she was, I want her reported for poor customer service. Always the black ones. Just like when I came the first time. Same situation. And it was a security at that. Had a problem because I told her to touch in my crotch. She wanted to act like she had a problem because she couldn't touch my crotch. And she walks off. Yes, she did. And then continue to check me. Somebody else had to come and check me in. You're not checking any bags, right? I have one bag. I'm going to carry it on. Now in the next part of the video, it gets a lot worse. She starts getting more aggressive with the agent and the counter. She starts talking down on him and making demands, coming off very entitled in my opinion. And I get that traveling can be frustrating sometimes, but treating workers like this shows she has weak character. Please don't carry yourself like this woman here, but let's continue to watch. Where's the wheelchair? 
Did you call somebody to get the wheelchair? No, I have to check you in first and then I'll Well, you should have called somebody because you know it takes time to have somebody come with the wheelchair. They got to go get it and come over here. That's minutes wasted. I got 8 o'clock. I got to go now. Hey, what? It's at 8.50 p.m. 8 15? 8 15. It doesn't matter. I want to get on the flight now. I want to get back there. I want to get through this whole ordeal. I don't like coming to check in. That's I hate right, airplanes. Right. I hate flying. So pass through okay? the process, but I'll need your photo ID. It's and over it there. So tell, tell whoever has my bags to bring it over here because I'm not walking back over there again. I cannot check you without your photo ID. Yeah. Where the f is here? He's over there. He's over there. Go get him. Tell that guy to go get him. The, the gentleman by the bags. Tell that guy to go get him, whoever that guy is. Tell him to go get the. I'm not walking over there. My back hurts. I'm handicapped. I cannot go far. I can't stand long. I can't sit long. So call somebody to go get the bag. I shouldn't have had to walk over here in the first place. I should have had a wheelchair waiting for me when I got here. This is make, I can't stand American Airlines. I will never take your, your airline again, ever again. I had so many complications on your airline ever since I came and arrived here, leaving here, now leaving, coming here and now leaving here. I still have a problem in this airport. Why is that? This, this airport is hell. I don't even want to take your flight. Can you change my airplane? I really don't want to take your flights. It was a bumpy ride coming over anyway. It wasn't smooth. I don't trust your planes. I don't trust your service. I don't trust nothing with you now. And when I feel like that, I feel very paranoid to travel with somebody like that. In the air. Now my bags was over there standing. Somebody's supposed to be standing with my bags right now. Yo! Bring the bag! He's bringing it. Says you couldn't move fast enough. I had to yell out. He sees me. He hears me. And he's coming now. I need a wheelchair. And I want to get my flight before I'm late. I, I was here on time. I'm not playing games. Come on. And I have a dispute with the last time I traveled. After two flights, I had to wait three hours to get here. So I'm not having a hair. Not today. Move a little faster. I don't want to miss my flight, please. I need my ID out that bag. So I can get the hell out of this damn airline. Don't talk. So in the next part of this video, she is finally done and the ticket agent is finally free from having to deal with the situation. So now they get to the point where they have to check the size of her bag. And one of her bags is too big to take as a carry-on. So I have a feeling she is not going to take that news with a smile on her face. But let's take a look. Door number two in first class. And that's the only bag check it in, right? This one and there's one on the floor. That's right. I'm uh, carrying this on. No, fifty-seven. Five seven. Here. Thank you. They have a big dispute from last time and I'm gonna finish it off when I get back home and watch me. I'm carrying these two on, yeah. The thing is, this one's too big. Why? I can put that on top. I took the glass bag I have the same size. I put it on top. What? Go show me. It fit last time. No, no, no. I don't need this. What? Carry on what? What's, what how, do you, how do you tell a carry on? Because no, I don't show you. Don't f*** on my... Where's the line? That line right there. The 
the And where's this line? That's the wheels that's making it taller. That bag ain't that tall. No, but it's way too big, man. That's what I'm saying. So chuck shit in there. For what? Why? Why I gotta pay for that bag for? I'm gonna allow one carry on. Why not? The, 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 the ticket doesn't have any bags included. Oh, really? Yo! Yo! Come over here again. Let him pay for it. I'm not paying nothing. I'm not paying for no bags. You gotta pay for the bag. Come on, hurry up. You're moving too slow. So there wasn't any news articles about the situation, but I did find multiple videos, so I've been piecing them together. So the next part of the video is when she finally gets a wheelchair and she starts talking crazy to the wheelchair pusher and a few seconds later even tries to get into it with an envoy employee that just needs to check her boarding pass. But let's continue. I have issues, so don't act like I'm not handicapped. I am a handicapped beauty ass, all right? Know that. Let's go. Give me to my gate and let me go. Please don't hold me up. I have to go. Move your ass, please. Walk as fast as you can. I'm not heavy. I know. I'm going to uh, right through the air, the security. A bitch ain't trying to walk far. Out of here. I'm in the airport. You know how to pull it and use that wheelchair every time. That's how you get through security. I'm going to show you how right now. Yes, I do. Just keep going. I'll get it to you in a minute. You don't need it yet. I do. Why? Don't say how the hell. Don't talk to me. I don't, I don't believe in hell. I'm a God woman. Who are you talking to? Watch your mouth, Papi. Watch your mouth, Suave. Suave. When we get to that gate, I'll give it to you. Keep going. You gonna? No, no. Don't get him. Let me tell you something. You know, I'm a fucking 50 year old. You fucking try me again, I will fuck you up. Let me see the, the, the boarding bus, ma'am. We cannot start the service without the boarding bus. Ask for it nicely. Don't get a, did, don't I act like a door a, a jerk off with it, all right? Because I don't gotta give you nothing. Okay. And don't give me a headache because I'm already giving sue this company for the way they treated me when I got on the plane the first time. Okay. Let me have my boarding pass, thank you. <laughs> Kiss my f this dude is a jerk. Oh, surprisingly, there's no line at all today, huh? That's good. I should. I don't even need you. I could have fucking scooted my ass through that shit by myself without you. You know already what, who I am, right? You saw my class earlier. What? Checkpoint three. What? Checkpoint number three. For what? It's only the safety check. What? What the hell are you talking about? Speak English. You can't come in here. You can't. You got. You gotta go in checkpoint three. What the f is checkpoint three? So things start to really heat up and what's funny is that I used to work at this airport so checkpoint 3 is the busiest checkpoint in the airport most of the time. She went to checkpoint 1 first and that checkpoint is very small and it's the reason they only take pre-check passengers. Just wanted to give some context about that but let's continue to see what happens next. Why is it different? If I, if I know why do I no first tell me why am I going to another checkpoint and I can't come to this you one? You can't come in here. Why? Because it's only DSA pre check. Okay. Well take me to where he said to take me to. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. You should have said that the first time, idiot. <laughs> oh f look like I know I don't work here. Dumbass. Point, what the f where's this three sh at? And you going real slow like you ain't eating no dinner tonight. Like you ain't got no fucking muscles. Look how slow we go. Look how, you don't have no muscles. I see. You know, like I weigh 500 pounds in this wheelchair. I'm gonna go He better stop playing with me. This man is, he better stop fucking playing with me. You better take me to fucking checkpoint three and stop playing with me or something. I'm complaining against you to lose your go job. Ahead, I'm going to tell you right now, don't fucking play with me. I'm going to make you go viral. Don't play with me. I waited a long time when you pushed me to, you could push me to checkpoint three then. No. 
So why the hell he can't? Okay, let me go to the office and send somebody to help you. So He's supposed to help me. What you mean? Let me call the office and send somebody to help you. What are you talking okay. about? Well, you got he has a to job know. to do. So don't give me no attitude. He has a job to do. He's not doing his job. Don't do that. He needs to go to, to walk to the check on your yeah, What? Mm. What you say? I don't hear shit from you, little lady. You a joke to me right now. I ain't going no anywhere. Get me the fuck out this year. Get off the chair. Unlock the wheel. Unlock the wheel. Unlock the wheels. I'm going to scoot my ass there. Unlock the wheels. You mother. So at this point, they decide not to help this lady with the wheelchair and the guy pushing her wheelchair decides not to do it anymore. I mean, we can't even blame him at this point. They haven't even made it to the security checkpoint and she can't stop talking down to this young man. And remember, this lady claims she is 50 years old, but I know kids that act better than her in public, but let's continue to watch. No, I'm going, excuse me. Ex you hurt my finger? You squeeze my finger? You squeeze my finger? Ma'am. No, I'm gonna scoop my ass to the. I'm gonna scoop myself there. You don't have to take me. Get your fingers off of it. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop myself because I can't walk. Okay, that's a wheelchair. I'm gonna scoop there. He can get his hands off of the wheelchair. I'm gonna scoop over there. You he don't want to push me. Now. He don't have to push me. Okay, you cannot. So you have so to. So he can get the another... push me to okay, push me so there. So you have to wait for another wheelchair. He can now. push me the there. Cause you a piece of. I know. Okay. Hey. You with an old, uh, older person that has a wheelchair issue you're gonna go to hell I know. you're gonna go viral too you know that yeah. i hope so remember your face is gonna be all over the f tv yeah. ugly yeah. A piece of yeah. you're a real piece of uh -huh. your mother didn't birth a baby she birthed a turd like you you're gonna f me today that's how the f you live in you're nasty and f you. Keep your fing wheelchair. So the drama continues after she ends up walking to the checkpoint and unfortunately ends up in line behind the wheelchair worker and she goes on to talk smack about him while going through the TSA line. Now there is an ending where people try to find who this lady is and that would be further throughout the video but let's continue. I'm in line standing waiting after I had a wheelchair and this guy kicked me out the wheelchair because he wanted to be a jerk all and act like he had an attitude because I'm talking too much junk to him because he deserved it. He was nasty in the first place, asking me for my ticket, really nasty and abruptly. So therefore, I said, no, I'll give it to you when we get to the gate. And he took me to the wrong gate in the first place after he looked at the ticket. So therefore, he gave me another headache. Then he had the nerve to act like he don't want to push me anywhere. So I'm in line in the airport, at an airline called American. I don't like American Airlines. I drove, I flew over here and going back on American Airlines. I will never take American Airlines again. I guarantee you, ever again. The faster I get back, the faster I'll be happy. Can she move out the way? You can go. Hold on, ma'am. I'm standing up. I'm not in a wheelchair. Just move your ass. Ma'am, please, there's no need. You can't take me, ma'am. You can't take me. I'm not talking to you. I'm on the phone. Get off my phone call. Bye. You say you were taping. Bye. 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 Let me get the phone call. I don't hear shit saying. So every time I come to this airplane, all these people want to act stupid and they want to tell somebody what to do. Like they own the air, they own American Airlines. You ain't nothing but a slave for this company. Shut up. You can't say a damn thing to me. This is America. Freedom of speech. We say what the f one year. I wish you would say something else. Yeah. I think Florida think they run this with the Spanish people. They all down here. I don't mind Spanish people. 
Trust me, I don't mind them at all. I have nothing against them. But what I don't like is when they think they're running shit. They don't run shit here. Should be happier in the country. Right, so now that we are at the end of this video after this video went viral some people decided to find out who this lady is and they believe they found her allegedly now i'm not the one saying this is her i'm just reporting the news and after you see that video one of the employees actually left a comment saying what happened to her but i won't spoil it but check it out and let me know what you think let's begin if it's going too fast just pause the video Bronzino, the Mediterranean sea bass, my favorite. Got the chair. Get off the chair. Unlock the wheel. Unlock the wheel. Unlock the wheels. I must scoop you. Unlock the wheels. No, I'm going. Excuse me. Ex you hurt my finger? You squeeze my finger? You squeeze for today so if you enjoy any of those videos let me know down in the comment section which one is your favorite one also share with your friends on social media and yeah i think i'm gonna leave it at that and we out